All right, so now we got the mode pointed at the TV. And uh, see our system right there. So let's check this out. I'm using the original controller. Because <coughs> the idea was to have like a black and white, like a monochrome type system. Where the hell is Sonic Advance? Sonic Adventure, excuse me. Yeah, I got both limited edition and the finished one. Okay. I... And we have liftoff. Awesome. I already know I don't have a memory card. You don't have to chastise me for it. Well, that's loud as hell. And everything's working fine so far. Because you can see the mode light blinking and the Dreamcast lighting up. So you got the orange, so you got the, I know it's weird ankle, fuck. Ah. So anyway, you got the white on the bottom for the controller port. You got the orange and black for the decal. You got the orange LED, the smoke black finish of the console. Matt, all those bill all those millions of dollars they used to spend uh, to make Sonic Adventure, you'd think some of that money would be making sure the lips match up to what they're saying. And it's not like the usual dubbing kind of thing. It's more of the words appear on the screen after they start talking. I guess there's a good reason I stayed home today. Because they put me on the z pack so I still got another like five days to go. So they took all the pills, but it's in your system for like five days after that. And especially me, z packs don't always work the first time around, so they got to put me on something else. It sucks, especially like when your immune system's complete crap. By the way, I'm looking for a jump pack again. Since when the fuck did they go up to like $40? You know, the rumble pack for the Dreamcast. I, I I can't get over that shit. Like, I, I know the fishing controller got expensive, but that's because not everyone... I have to, I have to swallow that because I love the fishing games. I can understand the fishing controller being expensive now because hardly anyone bought it. But the jump pack? For real? The fucking rubble pack? That's one thing I wish the retro fighters would have added to their. Because I don't think it's. I don't think they have it built in. Where are you going? Yeah, I don't think they have the rumble built in. Son of a bitch. They need to make a Dreamcast controller where they got the rumble built in. Or maybe when the blue retro comes out, I'm hoping that whatever controller... Because they, they're supposed to have a VMU already built into the... Um, they're supposed to have like memory already built into the blue retro pack. So what I'm hoping for is that they also will allow... Like, say if I plug a PlayStation 4 controller up to my Dreamcast, I'm hoping that I can use the rumble built into the PS4 controller instead of having... And it'll simulate the jump pack. Because that's fucking ridiculous. $40 for that shit? Good lord. Huh? 
And yes, I, and I would love for someone to make a wireless. I know they exist, but the the only solution to make a wireless Dreamcast controller like this is to chop it up. Like they'll literally take a, an original controller like this, butcher it, and then put a board in. I want to see like when the blue retro comes out. I want to see like a Retro Fighters Dreamcast pad that's wireless. Okay, so I'm gonna restart it again. Try a Japanese game this time. <coughs> and I got just the game. This game is a uh, constant uh, go-to for me on the Dreamcast. Like, even if you only have a few minutes, you can literally pick this game up and have a blast with it. Literally. Like the, like the game says. Have a blast. And you can. Takes a second. Yes, I know. Cosmic Smash is such a damn good game. I don't... I don't know if anybody really talks about it for the Dreamcast. Like it was on any one of these great game lists or hidden gems, but it needs to be if it's not already. Hoping the the analog stick on this controller is a little stiff. So it's basically wall ball. Um, I know there's another word for it, but I have no idea what it is. I just always call it wall ball. And your idea is you bounce, you hit the ball, and uh, I know I'm not going to get a bonus for that one. If you can do it without missing, then you get a uh, huge bonus. Yes, See, no lost ball. I, I usually would have gotten that, but uh, yeah, didn't get it this time. So it's basically like a mix of wall ball and breakout. And you don't have lives, you just have time. You have a timer on the bottom screen there. Yeah, this analog stick is stiff as a mother. Let me try using the controller pad. And, and there it goes. So you got like 200,000 points just for not losing a ball. You know, it's funny for like PS2, you know how they like around that time they released all these Dreamcast games on the Xbox and the PS2 and the GameCube. Why wasn't this game selected? I mean, are we so obsessed with AAA games in this society that this wouldn't have sold for like, you know, $30 as a budget game? I would have thought it would sell. Oh, shit. Went too high. I don't, oh, yeah, I could jump. Shit. Well, now I know. I usually don't have to jump. Oh, shit. Oh, man. I would have map jumped to, like, one of the shoulder buttons. Ah, oh, fuck. You can tell I'm rusty. I haven't played this in a while. And I didn't get any of those. Um, one final thing. I'm, one final thing I'm going to do is I want to try a European game. Now I know when I get the DC Digital, it's going to work just fine because it's going to adapt to the signal. But still, I'd rather give it a shot now while I can. All right, so we're going to go to Europe. There's a lot of games in Europe that got released that didn't here, and everybody knows about Shenmue 2, obviously. But there's something even better. This game is amazing. And if you don't have a Dreamcast or don't want to do all this work, like, um, obviously you can burn a disc, yeah, but um, it was released for the PlayStation 2. So if you want to play it in the U.S., um, the, the original one of this was released on the PS2, and the sequel, I think, was released on the PlayStation 2 and the Xbox. Oh, 
Hope I don't get flagged for this shit, but whatever. YouTube's gonna do whatever YouTube wants to do, clearly. Hi, I'm Bill Waverly. And I'm Kate Gloss. For this you want to know? game, imagine, you if you will, Metal Gear Solid mixed with Robocop. That's literally what this game is. It's Robocop mixed with Metal Gear Solid. And political heavyweight Christopher Stern. With funding from government, midweek lottery, the ACM promises a billion dollar And this news broadcast that they start the game with actually explains that. In other news, Governor Hernandez apologizes for global warming, promising a statewide hot air initiative. How he plans to achieve his targets. It's official. Privatized is best. Following last year's armed forces sell-off and the financial success of the Mideast War, the ACN is extending its... Price it's almost like it goes... It, it, by the way, this is a teen-rated game. It, it's almost like this goes to places where Robocop wanted to go, but didn't. Promising to deliver more bang for your buck. Meanwhile, more power to the elbow of concerned parents with new laws prohibiting all public displays of human or animal violence. You know, Bill, my dog just hates violence. We could learn a lot from dumb animals, Kate. Next up, movie madness in Muskoka. Every school kid knows the value of life, Kate. But how about a life of crime? Some today, all wanted felons are to have bail bonds set by government. With values listed on the criminal exchange, more crimes and worse crimes see the bail figure rise. Rehab sees it fall. Successful headhunters receive 10% of the bail. The rest going to meet ACN costs. Felons unable to meet bail face compulsory organ donation. Okay. Recycling is the order of the day. Now crime fighters... So basically, instead of, like, shooting people... Instead of, like, shooting people in this game, like, you know, with actual bullets, basically you shoot them with, um, explain it right here. Yeah, so the reason, the ex explanation that they give why they don't use actual guns and bullets is because they don't want to damage organs. And in tonight's lifestyle feature, we ask synthetic versus natural implants. When it comes to organs, can you beat the real thing? Latest figures show the CCS criminal control system has been a big success since the government licensed the technology from the Biotech Corporation. The CCS cranial biochip implant and this is what they put in criminals, apparently, to control their criminal urges. Future models could include thought monitoring on the reconstruction, limiting the subject's freedom to think and act. Sounds great to you and me, but one person not so happy is mysterious recluse Don Fulci. The suspected crime lord interrupted last night's lottery draw with an illegal broadcast in which he denounced the ACN's crime-fighting initiative. I believe these measures threaten my great... It's like before the casting this role, they said, We want Brando, but we can't get Brando. I'm not, I'm, I think Brando was dead by this point, I'm not sure. Because this came out in 2001. They're like, well... Get me someone that can imitate Don Corleone. We're going to use that guy. With bail bonds rising, every child knows I'm paid. But little Jimmy Brown of Orange County coined a cool two million credit by informing on his dad and his uncle. Damn, homeboy was a snitch. <laughs> Holy shit. A record low in crime figures, with many felons turning in criminal associates. Uh, just goes to show no one's all bad, Bill. Meanwhile, ACN Chief Christopher Stern today appointed protege and former assistant Alan Sharp agency vice president. Known as a hardliner, Sharp championed the three strikes and your orders are out penalty for repeat offenders and promises more of the same. Watch Eric Adams try to do that in New York. 
full victim profile of Stacey Wood feature in our next bullet. For now, I'm Bill Waverly. And I'm Kay Clark. And that's all you need to know. <laughs> Yes, we know. And they have a virtual training too. I know how to do that. So basically you're a spy that some, I forget what happened, but you wake up, your memory's gone. And the only way to get it back is to become a headhunter to access those files. And in the meantime, you gotta take down Fulci and his guys and a bunch of other people. this because I'm not gonna I'm not saving it anyway you you were the best way do I know you maybe this will jog your memory Smith and Easton stimulator EMP automatic clip side 10 rounds muzzle velocity 850 payload combined neurostimulants and motor cortex scrambler producing incapacity and eventual brain death <laughs> like riding a bike I'm Chief Frank Hawk, and you, Wade, were my number one The, partner. um... Eight years, top of the league for six. Second. More captures... This the part over here feels a little warm, like right around here. For life. But, Sorry, other than that, I, it doesn't it feel really hot at all. Of course, I, I can't smell nothing, because I can only smell too well because of how my nose is stuffed, so... I can't see if there's an electric smell or not. You'd have to pass the Layla test, but you'd get a weapon and a BM. Wouldn't give access to classified files, but it'd be a start. Back to school, huh? With an EMP gun in your hand, it could be worse. Contact me when you got your Layla license. I'll help any way I can. Word of warning. You've woken up with quite a few enemies. I wouldn't trust anyone you don't know. And right now... You don't know anyone. You don't know anyone. You can tell I played this before. It's one of the reasons I love the Dreamcast, this game. Alright, but yeah. There is the Dreamcast. So all I got to do now, <clears throat> take it off the fucking, there we go. Take it off the uh, tripod. So all I got to do now is take this after almost two hours is take this thing, wrap it up. I'm going to actually back up the hard drive before I do that. So I'm probably going to do that now tonight while I'm sleeping and pack it up. When I get paid next, I'm going to send this into one up and the rest is history. So the next time you see this Dreamcast, it's going to have the DC digital in it. It's going to have, it's going to be completely recapped. It's going to have the controller mods on it. And I'll show you that when it comes back in. So I'm, I'm sorry I couldn't do this as a live and sorry it's in a few parts, but uh, yeah. Things don't always happen the way it's supposed to. You can see this mess in front of me. So, Rachel Schaefer signing off. <laughs>